Sup, you beautiful, unworthy sons. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome back to the Zero Hundred channel. Now, let's just jump straight into it. <laughs> okay, Sphinx is not, uh, Philip DeFranco, but welcome back to Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. This game is the game that I've been playing for a few episodes. Last episode, we stopped a set and a gradual. So, we might stop more. That's all I can say for certain. Um, so I think this guy instigates the cycle <laughs> or the quest that we need to do. My wife is gonna kill me if she finds out I lost a pearl necklace. She's bound to notice that this new one I bought has three missing. Say, if you come across any Ab Abadosian pearls, let me know. This way. There's an Abidosian Pearl over here. A Biodosian. Abidosian, not Biodosian. There it is. Just need two more. And that electric water does electrify you. It's not a good thing to get into. Oh, there we go. Found an Abidosh Pearl, thanks. Just two more of it and I'll be saved. Great. Um where's the other one? I know there's one down the sewers, but I wanna do that one last. I think it's over here. Nope, that's just ten gold scarabs, which is fine. I need gold scarabs for later. I haven't come across any shops yet. There are some shops in the Bios though. Um, where is it? Oh yeah, it's right there. Is it? No. I don't know. Where? For some reason I can't remember. Where was it? Is it over here? Is it over here? Oh yes. Oh yeah, it's right here. Oh, let's see. Okay. Okay. It's too abidosian. Um, and then we just need to go down. Mm -hmm. And then we just need to go back down to the sewers, and we'll be fine. Great, response right here. We'll be good to go. Okay, down to the sewers. Okay, here we are. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. There's a key. There we go. Old key, old ambulance. Okay. 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 We need that for later. There's a lot of things we need for later. the last Avidocean Pearl. Oops. Where's that Scarab? Oh, there it is. Is that again? Alright. Let's get back up and give that guy his pearls back. Yes, that's three Avidocean Pearls, thanks. I think she'll... I'll take my wife to see the jewel collection in the museum. She'll love to wear the necklace for that. You can use this key to open the door to the upper walkway if you wish. Okay, so now we can explore more of Bidos. First, though, let me go save, because saving is key in this game. Saving is key to success.
Sorry, sir, the Hall of Jewels isn't open yet. Alright, so we're about to witness the opening of the Hall of Jewels. Oh, is that a baby crying? Characters love their gesticulating gesticulation in this game. We are the we are here on this auspicious day for the grand opening of the first hall of the Abydos Museum, the pride of the city. This important event highlights the continued interest from the council to the, for the cultural development of our city. Holding a public exhibition in the new Hall of Jewels, the collection of Abydos. This illustrious collection showcases hundreds of years of our grand history. Awkward part. My word, I am afraid that we need to interrupt the ceremony. What? Why? Why? What has happened? We no longer have a jewel collection. It has been stolen just a few minutes ago. What? Who? How? Oh dear, will it ever end? This is becoming the ruination of the city. First the appearance of the electric eels, and now this. We will have to take extreme security measures throughout the city to create points of control. Only a sarcophagus, mm -hmm. only a sarcophagus remains from the collection. What sarcophagus? We don't have a sarcophagus in the collection. Sounds eerily familiar. Oh, what a mess. We had better go to the council chiefs to discuss this further. Aww. So yeah, this is the museum that I was talking about with all the monsters. <coughs> Greetings, and museums. Rhythm Jewel Expert. As you may have heard, we lost our jewel, uh, jewel exhibit to thieves. The council has offered to handsomely reward any person able to return any of the small jewels to the museum. If you have any jewels that you want me to look at, I'll be I'll expect them to be great. And here's the other guy. Welcome to our museum. I'm afraid our exhibits are a little sparse at the moment. It's very sad. My heart sinks to think that the grand opening of our jewel is exhibition. Could have could uh, be ruined in such a disparaging manner. If you don't mind my saying, you don't look like a native Epidotian. Are you from my town? Let's be honest. No. I'm just I'm sorry. I've not seen you about before. I must admit, however, I rarely get to go outside go out anymore. This museum is my life. The natural history selection of museum is open, but incomplete. Over time, we aim to exhibit a specimen of all animals in our world. We are hoping to get contributions from brave adventurers, but Abidotian citizens can contribute to. Are you interested in aiding our great city? Yep. Excellent. I knew you would help. If you capture an animal for, this, for the exhibition, uh, come and see me. If you should happen to find any of the soul jewels in your journey, you can talk to my associate, the jewel expert. I'm afraid that we cannot pay you for your animal donations, but as a symbol of our gratitude, the first animal donated to you, donated, you, the first animal donated, you will receive a valuable gift. And that gift is so valuable that it progresses the story. Because we did not come, we did, we did not need to come to Abydos. There's nothing here for us. All that we need in Abydos is to get out of Abydos and get to Heliopolis as fast as possible. Uh, yeah, Heliopolis and Abydos are real places, I think. Real cities in Egypt, I think. Well, obviously, they don't look like this, though. We get an item later on that allows us to capture uh, monsters, but we can't capture it right now because we don't have that item. So we have to buy our first monster or animal, and for that we need about 100 scarabs. So we gotta save up. One of I think the most expensive monster is 900 scarabs, which is kind of crazy. You need to get a you need to get an extra thing for that to hold more scarabs. And here's another one of those herbs. Look what happens if you try to take it. You got a healing herb, but it withered and died almost immediately. Yeah, see, that's what happens. You need a special item to take them. You'll need them one more, one time, though. Uh, this, this is where you buy your monsters and animals from. And then this, this. Here's a beggar. You can give him money. If you give him enough money, he gives you a special item. Basically, a heart piece. A piece of heart. The 
the Sphinx equipment to a heartbeat. We almost have 100 scarabs. There might be one slightly cheaper than that, I don't know. So yeah, if you go over here, the this is blocked, and you can't get past because you need an item. You need so many items. Let's see some identification. Certainly, here you are. What kind of identification is that? I need papers if you want to go to the council chambers. Get out of here, time waster. And there's there's a the same thing on the other side, except it's more of a it's, the bridge is more grand. I'll go over there. Maybe I'll get some monies. Let's see, this bridge is more grand. Yeah, it's the same guy. Well, it's not the same guy, but it's the same thing. Okay. All right, so we need we need some money. Maybe maybe we only need sixty scarabs. I'll go see. Okay. Let's see. I think it's a. Is it a rat? Oh, I think the rat is one hundred. Yeah, it's one hundred scarabs. The frog maybe seventy. Great. We'll buy it. Yes. No, we don't want to buy more. Okay. There we go. So now we just go give it to the, to the museum, and we get. Uh, all right. We need we need some more monies to uh, to get out of here once we get this item. We just need a little. I think we only need twenty five scarabs. A small frog, it's certainly small, but also toxic. Why, thank you so much for your donation, sir. The flowing glory of our museum is beginning to be restored. As a reward for contributing an animal to the city's museum, I'd like to present you with this zipline handle. It allows you to use the numerous ziplines located around our city. It's easy to use the ziplines. Just stand near to the edge of the zipline rope and jump. That's all there is to it. Yep, that comes in handy many times. Right? I guess it's kind of a core cool item. Just like the shield and blade of Osiris. Now let's go. We so we need a few more scarabs to uh, get out of here because we need the zipline to get to a boat. Hmm. This juggling guy is brilliant, isn't he? A little crazy, but brilliant nonetheless. My sister would love to see this. <coughs> oh, don't talk to him. Don't distract me, you made me drop the balls. <laughs> Stop distracting me, I tend to drop the balls if anyone talks to me. Alright. Here's the boat. And here's our Mohawk ship captain. Oops. Uh, I. Hi, I'm Kans, the boat captain. You seem like the typical guy who loves adventure. My services include holiday trips of all kinds at very reasonable prices. If you like, I can provide transport to Heliopolis for a mere 25 scarabs. Let's go. Next stop, Heliopolis. Okay, let's go. Here we are. The castle of Uruk. Here they are. A Kenneton and Beans. Ah, uh, I don't believe it. Defeated by a juvenile that I don't even know. The magical device has returned us to the dark castle. And now Dish, we can't even use his life energy to take his shape. Now he is worthless to us. I'll have my assistants throw him into the jail to rob with the other corpses. <coughs> Excuse me. Loss of the warping amulets thanks to our unwanted trip are also causing me concern. This is a bit of blow. Without those amulets, it'll take longer to anticipate the reach of our objective. <laughs> Set back to this, but the, perhaps, but defeat. Ha! <laughs> Everything is going according to plan. Master, how can you say that? Now that Tutankhamun has been eliminated, I will use the Kenneth in shape and explain to all that Tut has died in an accident. 
that will give me the power Luxor, the rest will be easy. Yes, that is true. Nobody would dare to shoot you or not his brother. You got it, of course. Unfortunately. Of course not. My disguise is perfect. And about that youngster interrupting ceremony, I know he is, he is a student of your temple for that foolish ge geriatric magician. This plan defeat will be useful to confuse his feeble mind further. He will never know what is really going on. He doesn't even realize I was there. Master, you are a genius. We need to be careful for now, but when the ray is powerful enough, nothing will stop us. Defeating the evil temple will be as easy as crushing an insect. I don't know why they just walked around this. <laughs> they just walked around this for no reason. Here we are, he Heliopolis at last. This was once a great kingdom, now it's no more than a forsaken desert wasteland. Okay, here we go. Personally, I think you should stay in Obidos. You won't find much here other than sand and vicious monsters. In fact, that's precisely why I'm sailing back to Obidos immediately. Okay. I'll be back in these parts around in a few days. I'm gonna see you then. You're the one who offered the voyage, mate. You're the one who brought it up. Let's see, I'm just saying. I've had enough of Heliopolis. It used to be a great place to live. But then Anubis decided to interfere. He cursed my brother along with everyone else in the cursed palace over there. He made these deadly eyes I have route posts appear in every corner of the land. You made the soil barren and infertile. I can't grow anything on the farm. Yes, it's all down to Anubis. I bet he's sitting in his tower looking down on Heliopolis, laughing at all the misery and suffering. Someone should pay him a visit and teach him a lesson. Let's save. Just in case. There we go. Let's go. Please excuse that. Okay. Um. Where? Oh wait. No. What am I doing? What am I doing? I need to go visit. Um. I need to go visit Anubis, but first, I need to do a few things. Here it goes. Like a motorboat. Sphinx. He may be part cat, but he is also part man, and he's 100% beast. So, let's go. Oh, and there's our friend Horus. Look at that. Never thought I'd see the arrogant bird again. Sphinx, there you are. I knew that we would meet again. As you can see, I heroically managed to survive Yurik. Well, I won't bore you with the details. You won't get lucky. You got lucky, Yurik. And by rights, that blade should be mine. You would never have found it with my help. Without my help. <laughs> with my help, yeah. Yet again, you credit yourself with greater skill than you possess. You can't get up here. You don't have the power to jump high enough. Your weakness is pathetic. I found Emotep in the temple on Suntrine Island. That crazy old fool told me he was looking for you. As you can see, you can't even get inside. I will solve the problem that Anubis has created by myself, despite what Emotep says. See you around. Oof. Well, this guy is... Sure. Impatient. Jerk. Jerky jerk. Okay, let's go. Gotta burn this thing. Yes, I know that already. Game. Oh, don't touch the flame. Eagle stone, great. Let's go. 
Come on. Swimming like the devil. Then again, if he swims like the devil, he might end up swimming satanically instead of satanically. We all know we don't want things like that to happen. Okay, let's go. Yeah, those, those eye of rock posts right there will shoot you down if they see you, so... That's a reason not to get caught. We do blow them up eventually, but that's... But that's uh, in a little while. Not yet. Oh boy. That was bad. There we go. And there's another eagle pad. Eagle stone place. Place to use the eagle stone. I was gonna say, I think this is a mummy bird, but no. It's something different, it's just a plain eagle. It's a blue eagle for some reason, though. And then, here we have our friends that we haven't seen in a little while. The exploding burble. We don't want that. Let's get it to follow us. Let's get it to blow these boulders up. Yeah. Whenever those boulders of any kind, you know that you have to blow them up. Oh, great. Got both of them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Before we go to Sunshine Island. Ahoy there! You look like someone who relishes a physical challenge. An important attribute in these dark and dangerous times. I'm the best swimmer in Heliopolis. I'm definitely better than all those weaklings from my bios. I perfected my te technique on a training course in the sea between South Beach and Sunshine Island. Do you think you can complete my training course? Very well. Would you like to hear the rules? No. Wishing you luck seems pointless, but good luck anyway. Ready, set, go. Set. Hey. You don't want to say set. Trust me. Alright, so we have some things. Uh, where's it? There it is. Over here. Oh, that's the way to go. Gotta get quickly. There we go. Pretty easy. Let's see if we get armor. Um, there it is. Those, those big fish down there attack us, so we don't get too near them. We're approaching the home stretch. We're in the home stretch. Here we are. Here we are. There's victory. There we go. Ah, oh, very impressive, my friend. People, few people have what it takes to complete my training course. Because you managed to complete the course in only 69 seconds, I want you to take this gift. An, Ab an Abadosian swimmer gave it to me a long time ago. Of course, I never use it. I can swim fast enough without the aid of a silly magical, of silly magical trinkets. You got the crocodile skins, so we can swim underwater now, which is cool. Or actually, no, um, no, we can swim fast underwater. Is what I mean. So look at this. We don't have the means to attack underwater yet, but we get that later. Don't worry. Don't worry, you're pretty little hits. Much later, actually. This time I mean much later. And, uh, I'll end the episode in just a second. I'm going to save. This episode has probably been the longest. Because we started it. When did we... Uh, yeah, we began this episode first entering a bios, and now we're here. So yeah, that's quite a lot, I guess. Sphinx, it is good to see you again, my friend. You have faced many deadly dangers and challenges, and it is clear to me that you are no longer the inexperienced apprentice. Ah, I see that you now have the shield of Osiris. What a perfect companion for the blade of Osiris. Perfect. Wielding these is a fine achievement in indeed. For they will serve you well in your coming adventure. 
Chorus has already been here, but he would not wait for you. His impatience is equal to your enthusiasm. It seems that you have been busy on your voyage. That canopic vase is most interesting artifact. It has been many years since I have seen one like this, but I might still be able to help release the soul that is trapped inside. I see a place that is far to the north, inside a castle in the land of the Inferno, the land of Yurik. Aha! I see the Prince of Luxor, Tutankhamun. His body lies within the castle of Yurik. Once revived, he could be very useful. Nobody has ever managed to get inside. I have an ominous feeling about the events. events no living thing can travel beyond the fierce protection of the castle. We need to send a magical entity. The basket is perfect. Nobody will suspect a thing. By the power of Osiris, and still this basket will be a life. Oh, look, he looks a little bit mischievous. Is the secondary namesake of the game, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. And here we have the Cursed Mummy. So you play through little segments like this where you go as the mummy and you have to solve lots of puzzles. But we're gonna save those puzzles for, for the next episode. Let's just let's just uh, see this little mummy boy get revived. And then we'll go. Here he is, just lifeless and dead. Basket is probably one of my favorite characters. His name is Basket, as he as as he'll tell us in just a second. And here's our mummy. Don't worry, I'm not going to bite you. Hmm. You can't even talk. I'm really sorry, but I only had one canonic base for you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Basquette. I will tell you what I can, but we haven't much time. I doubt you remember the last thing that happened to you. The treason on your birthday. The bizarre, unsettling, satanic ceremony performed on you by your brother. A hero, Sphinx, interrupted the ceremony, but he was only able to recover one of the faces. This bestows upon you the element of life, but you're still pretty much dead. We'll need the rest of the canopic faces to return you to your original form. You are now in the castle of Yurik. There isn't much time to explain all the details, but believe me, your only chance to help us is in the depths of this forsaken place. We must understand the significance of the evil castle who is behind all this. You must also investigate the castle and search for any possible clues or objects that could assist us in making you human once more. Farewell, my friend. I will see you soon. He's cute. Okay, so yeah. Let's save. Let's go ahead and save here. We love saving. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Great. GRA. I mean, okay. So, this has been a long episode, but thank you for watching it. If you have watched it, Leave a like if you think this video was deserving of it, and dislike if you think it was deserving of that. And uh, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Or see ya. That's that's my thing. See ya.